So can you talk to me a little bit about what attracted you to your specific roles and then what also what attracted you to the film and the story overall? I was really interested in, in Mara and her relationship to her father and to uh, somebody who was so charismatic um, and how a young person navigates that. Um, and for me, the idea of snake handling was really exciting and um, I knew I could understand the story because of my reaction to the idea of that, <laughs> you know, of the concept. You know, there was something that made sense to me um, in the drama of what, what goes on for a person approaching and I mean, trying to hold danger, trying to hold death in your hands, there's something very um, seductive about that. Yeah, and um, for me, like like Alice said, it's just such a fascinating community that I knew very, very little about. I maybe mean, I heard it once or twice. Um, and really, it wasn't about the snake handling. It, the snake handling is like a placeholder. It could be anything for any sort of belief uh, that you don't understand. So that was, a, I thought it was really interesting world and an interesting way to explore faith and religion, um, which is always a very ripe subject. You guys are part of a very uh, small group of actors who are in this film, and it's you know, a very intimate story. What was it like, I guess, getting into character and building those relationships to convey that authenticity on screen? Oh, really easy and fun, actually. I was a huge fan of everybody. And we worked together before. Yeah. On um, Beautiful yeah. Creatures. I knew he was alright. Like, we <laughs> <person. Yeah. laughs> we, we knew, yeah, we knew we would have fun, a good time working together. Um, and then Caitlin and, and Lewis, we get along with really well. Mm -hmm. And then um, Olivia, I was a huge, huge fan of, and Walton as well. And so, and Jim, Jim too. So, <laughs> it's just like every person I was excited to meet, basically, is what I'm saying. And you're dealing with religion which is always a sensitive topic, but also one of the most interesting and complex topics that you can really do. Did you guys research anybody or use anybody for inspiration in terms of bringing your characters kind of to the forefront? I didn't um, choose anybody in particular. I had actually more some childhood friends in, in mind um, who were not of faith, but for who Mara was on the inside. Um, I did read a book called Salvation on Sand Mountain by Dennis Covington, which is um, all about um, these communities. So that felt really good to, um, and yeah, it got me right, right in there. I felt so immediately, um, I don't know, into into this world and that feeling. And we also went to church, you know, in the yeah, we did go to a Pentecostal church that was about an hour away from where we were shooting. And, yeah. um, and they were very welcoming and, yeah. and nice and let us kind of sit in on one of their services. That's right. So that was like, that was pretty, um, I don't know, it was pretty informative. We're just sitting there kind of observing. Um, I was just afraid that they would think that we were like making fun of them or 